Let's go pick up my first camera ever! Ah! They're gonna go on that in our head. I have been planning on buying a camera for maybe half a year now but I was thinking because of financial reasons I thought I'm gonna get it maybe in the summer or even later but a cool opportunity came up which is the Canon cashback and basically you buy the cameras that they decide and they give you back money and we were like you know what maybe it's time it's also my birthday on the 27th so I was like you know what let's get it now on the Saturday we went to Ljubljana to pick up the prepaid camera and here's how it went. First we went to Evergarden to check out the new plant selection they had and I almost got this beautiful variegated Tridex but I had to run out of there because 43 euros for this tiny plant was just too much. So I got out with a Feldentian Campii which is also such a pretty plant. And here's a photo of the Feldentian UPI that I just saw and it was very pretty. We just picked up a plant and it's about one hour until I actually get the camera. Let's Oh. The weather couldn't have been more perfect, it was so beautiful walking through the streets and the architecture is so nice and I just loved every second of that. I was so excited at this point, I could not wait any longer. I got to try out some equipment before I actually bought it because just the tripod was 170 euros. So the woman working there was really nice and was very happy to assist me with the equipment. This is a photo right after I got out of the store, very happily holding my brand new gear. So a funny story is that some people on Instagram asked me what Nikon I got and obviously y'all thought that it was a Nikon because of the Nikon bags. However, I got a Canon, right? The lady in the store was like, Canon does not give bags. So these are the only bags I can give you. So I just threw the bags. Here is where the stressful part started. We parked our car maybe 500 meters away from the store. It was probably a bit more. And Ljubljana was packed, okay? People who live there will say that it wasn't that many people, but I'm not used to this many people. So there was a lot of people, right? And me walking around with the like 2,000 euros in these bags, I was like, what if someone tries to take it? The way I was holding those bags and everything, I was like, if somebody tries to touch me, I'm barking at them. I was ready to fight. Basically, I wouldn't give this camera up for anything. So we got home, we charged it, tried out some things. Okay, sound test one, two, three. Do we do it like this? Sound test. I just bought about 2,000 euros worth of filming gear and today I'm gonna unbox this. Is This is the craziest thing I have ever bought. So this right here, oh my god. No, we're gonna do this again. My brand new Canon EOS R10 with 18 250 millimeter lenses. This is what is soon to be my favorite camera ever. This right here is the, Sam the Canon EOS R10 body. So this is the back. We have this extending screen which comes out and obviously flips around. These are my lenses. These are also Canon, of course. They go on like this, but I'm actually very scared to put these on. Let's unbox the rest. We have lectures from a photographer, a professional photographer here. So let's see what we do. That's it for now, I'll see you when the battery is full.
here is me struggling to find where to turn the camera on. And here is me finding it finally. And I just need to set some basic settings and then it was time to try it out finally. Okay, this is a photo with flash, but what can you do outside on video? <laughs> This is my first ever recording on my brand new camera. Um, I am here in the nature. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It took me a few minutes to figure out how to even start recording. But now we have this going and we can finally record. Let's get closer. Let's see what this camera can do. Y'all, I have no idea how to use this yet. But we're gonna see, oh, how does the sound sound? I have no idea when I tell you. And this camera is very heavy to have in my hand right now. Um, but that's okay, I'm gonna get used to it, okay? It looks very beautiful, it, it's just meant for me. I don't know, it's beautiful, isn't it? That's it! We got it on a tripod. It's stable. Very stable. I love it. Focus on me! Let's go closer and let's go back. That's insane. Oh, that's crazy. Look at the clouds. Oh, wow. Beautiful clouds. That's beautiful, Katie. Whoa. That's what 4K does. That's what 4K does, okay? That's actually insane. You can see everything. You can see me. What does this do? Mm. Yeah! This is the blurriness that I want from this camera and it's amazing and it looks so good. You can't see anything behind me. <laughs> now it's Sunday and the weather is absolutely beautiful. Basically a perfect day to go out and test out my camera for the first time really. So I took my camera, I put it in my bag and I just went and here are some vlogs of that. I love the fact that I'm just casually walking through the forest with my brand new camera. It looks really, really incredible. Oh my god. The photos that this takes are so amazing. Um, I can't wait to see this quality. After editing, after everything, my hands are shaking. Why? I don't know. Let's go. I've taken a lot of really up close, really amazing images. And this has been doing the trick. It has some things that you can set before even taking the photo, so I don't have to do them after, which is really, really useful. And, and now we're gonna see how it does with filming and stabilization, because it has inner stabilization. We're gonna also see how it does with focusing on me. Apparently, I think it's still focusing. This is too much light. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Look at this, look at this. Look how pretty this is. Wow. I do mostly automatic and I add some effects like more contrast or more saturation and uh, some I will take with manual. We'll see where this leads me and uh, I have to get to the top of this mountain right now. Am I in focus? Am I actually not in focus? <gasps> Maybe it's not the best for vlogging. I have just taken a few really good photos of a bird this is my first photo of a bird up close, like a little bit. I was still far away, but I got one where it had something in its beak and it was so cute. I'm gonna put the photo right here. It's so good. I like it. If I extend my arm, I shake. If I put it like this, I'm too close. What can we do about this? We'll see. I'm done with filming in the forest now. I'm gonna go home and we're gonna see what we have captured. This bothers me because I don't, like it's the other direction. I didn't think, anyways, let's go. I'm showing you a few more photos that I took. A funny thing is that when I put them on my computer, it shows them the way I took them for like two seconds and then it changes them. And I think those are the ones that are shot in auto with the different settings on, like contrast, saturation, the, the things. It removes them after like two seconds. That's a little weird, but I have to figure out, I think it's something with the files. We'll, we'll see how that is. And yeah, it was very enjoyable. I was gone for a few hours and I really did test out a lot of things. Macro on this is pretty good. I love that it does get really close up and a lot of things are really shot well. The lens is not 
to for long distances. It does find okay shots, not the best. Obviously, this was not a priority for me, so it's not like I'm disappointed or anything. I'm just putting it out there. Like these lenses are better kind of for this this length like you're not even a meter from me and this i think is going to work very well and really that is all i can say about it right now as i said full unboxing for anyone interested it's coming out very soon i can't tell you the date but watch out because it's coming out soon i can't wait to see what i can produce with this camera and i think it's just going to level up my journey and if you want to go on this journey with me feel free to subscribe and help me reach my long-term goal of a thousand subscribers thank you so much for that happy third anniversary today is the third anniversary of this episode and it's also my birthday and i'll see you in the next one